what's going on guys it's me back to minecraft video and today this is episode 28 on the candy prison series if you bros are enjoying the series be sure to smack that like button down below it only takes a second to be very patient if you're also new to my channel also can please consider subscribing for more daily minecraft videos and let's start off the video okay so today we are back like button board if you bros don't know what the like button board is just leave your like and your ign for a chance to win all my plot, all my e-tokens, all my bounce at the end of the season. So today, we have, um, always trust me, Mega Creeper, Love 2D, Jambo, 1907, Todd, Iron Spider, 48, Isley, Doug, Energy Bank, Smart Freddy, Young Nephew, Banter Pirate, XX, Chewbacca, XX, Ward Pixel, Shay Mines, Death Dog, 77, Bobby Williams, 04, Dolomore, Zabiz, 24, Ethan, 444, and 333, so GG, you guys, and uh, without further ado, let's start off the episode. So, if you bros actually look at my balance right now, I currently went ham, like, since last episode. I have 337.8 billion, and we also have 9,000 e-tokens, and, uh, also, big shout-out to Deathlock. He did donate me some e-tokens, and, uh, yeah, so let's actually go ahead, and if you look at my slash ranks right now, I actually have enough to go all the way to the Z mine, so let's go ahead and do the rank up commands all the way to Z, and there we- are you serious? We don't even have enough money. Oh my goodness, we were off by like 40 billion to rank up. But either way, I actually found this guy called Captain of PvP, the best price on right now. I know like the normal prices are like 20 billion for a thousand E tokens, but uh, I'm kind of desperate right now. So let's actually go ahead and sell all of these, see if we can actually make enough money. And uh, we should be able to make all these. And this guy is legit. You guys can see the sell price 13 billion. And uh, one more, and there we go. We need another one. Another one another one we now have 144 billion and i think we only need 140 or oh, 135 billion okay so let's go ahead and do slash rank up there we go we are now at the last rank z so we can actually do slash mine now and come to the last rank um it's actually not the greatest as the prime god but uh, i always still like coming here and seeing all you bros it's pretty amazing and i don't really go for the money in here anyways i just go for like mostly the e-tokens like i'll just like mine in here for like half an hour with, like a full inventory trying to get e -tokens. but uh either way we're actually gonna see if we can get our pickaxe up maybe like 10,000 levels or something insane and i'll see bros there in a second Okay, so I'm back, and we're currently, like, 400 levels away from getting to it, and so let's go, and there we go, um, there we go, okay, our pickaxe is now level 1,230,000, our pickaxe is actually getting pretty decent up there, and, uh, yeah, so let's actually go ahead and sell all this Mr. Craner here, there we go, 2.8 million or something like that, oh my goodness, there's so many zeros, but either way, we're actually gonna go ahead and do slash prestige, um, slash prestige, oh my goodness, I'm the worst, the worst typer in the world, let's go ahead and prestige, and there we go, we now have the wheel of prestige kicking in, oh my goodness, there's like a bunch of people, why is there always people like spamming rank ups here in the lobby, but either way, we actually have a wheel of prestige ticket, if you bros don't know what a wheel of prestige ticket is, it's practically like a wheel of fortune, you guys can open it up, win some e-tokens, win some pretty amazing stuff, and uh, we usually go ahead and do a 360 off of here once we open it, so let's go ahead and do this in 3, 2, 1, and go, oh, and oh my goodness, there's people selling more wheel of prestige tickets and legendary crate keys, why did I open this right now, oh man, can we get some e-tokens up, we can get some e-tokens up there, a backpack, that would be pretty insane and uh wait no 50,000 e tokens yes 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 what are you serious we finally got it out of like prestiging 25 times we finally got it oh my goodness oh my goodness i am like literally so hyped we now have 56,000 e tokens what is going on? Either way, let's actually go ahead and, um, oh my goodness, we might actually be able to get this legendary crate one second. Goodness, I just offered the Dragon Slayer 8960 25,000 E tokens. I don't know if that's a good deal or not, but I offered him 25,000 E tokens for this legendary crate key drop. So we're just going to go ahead and do, um, slash trade. Let's just shift click him and, uh, we should be able to trade with him. Um, that's not working right now. Let's just do slash trade dragon slayer and uh here we go dudes oh oh my goodness i didn't even get it out let's go ahead Twenty-five thousand e tokens and now we can go ahead and trade dragon slayer dude so hopefully this guy's scamming and we can actually get this thing because 
Oh my goodness, let's go ahead and put this in and look at that legendary Krakey. Let's go ahead and accept this and oh my goodness, we actually got it. I was like 100% like thinking we were going to get scammed. Like I have no clue once again like what this thing is worth. It's worth like $5 US dollars on the shop and uh, yeah, so GG Dragon Slayer and um, hopefully this is a real thing and uh, let's actually find like a war zone let's actually go in the war zone right now and find a place to open this because that'll be pretty insane if we get something good okay so one more thing before we actually go ahead and use this legendary crate key drop um i actually looked at our, our crate key balance um not our crate key balance our e tokens and we currently have thirty thousand left so we can actually go ahead into the backpack shop and upgrade our backpack for twenty thousand. so let's go ahead and upgrade this thing and there we go look at this our backpack is now 700 capacity and uh, yeah so we're almost at like um a thousand um a backpack capacity that'll be pretty insane once we get that i think once we get that though i might want to buy another i am um, backpack name tag but they cost like a trillion dollars now which is like really expensive and uh yeah so once again i'll meet you guys in the war zone hopefully we can find a spot because i just looked and there's a lot of people so let's see you in the war zone Okay, so I just got back and I was like in the war zone, like clicking this thing like crazy, like why isn't it not working? And then I realized this isn't even like the crate key drop. Like this guy literally just gave us the crate key. He already opened this thing. So that is like, this is like really insane. So let's go ahead and actually open this. But before we actually go ahead and do that, let's actually left click to see the rewards. And um, you can actually get some pretty amazing rewards from this. Like this one over here, the uncommon, you get like tier one grenades. But over here, you can get like tier 20 grenades, and if you don't know what a tier 20 grenade is, it blows up like the whole entire mine. It's like a 5% chance. Um, I do want to get that. I do want to get the legendary Krakey again, obviously. Um, I could go for the god weapon set. Any piece of the god set would be insane because they actually have like a pretty like bold title and everything, which is pretty awesome and uh yeah so let's actually go ahead and open this thing in three two one and go what are we going to get come on give me something good and oh man you've successfully opened the legendary crates what are we going to get please don't land on the money and come on come on i'm losing my voice no are you serious what no are you serious this is like the luckiest day ever we got the second highest grenade and we got like 50,000 e tokens oh my goodness so um i think we're actually gonna go ahead and try one of these out in the mine and then um i think i might just hold on to you know what, let's try out like two of these things and i think i'll hold on to the other three see if they're actually worth anything and actually get like a profit off of this and uh yeah so i'll see you guys in the mine okay so the mine just reset and uh i actually layered my whole inventory with um beacons so we can actually just get beacons from this and we're gonna go ahead and um i'm thinking let's just go ahead and like mine down oh my goodness everybody is mining like crazy right now so let's go ahead and mine a little hole and let's go ahead and throw this thing um oh wait there we go three two one and oh my goodness look at this dragon slayer the guy who sold me this thing is even here dude gg oh my goodness that was insane let's throw one more up up here up here oh no it threw it on me oh my goodness okay what we got we got like a full inventory already we only made like about two stacks of beacons but uh still pretty insane and uh yeah so let's actually get like all of these like in one. Oh, there we go we just like shift clicked them let's get ourselves a full inventory and then let's go ahead and sell all of these and uh yeah so let's just go ahead and do this and um oh my goodness the server just had no i refuse no no. Okay, well, the server just happened to try just like reset at that exact time. I have no clue why, but everybody's back online now. And um, let's actually go ahead and sell all this to its boss key. There you go, dude. 4.6 and uh, not too bad. I'll actually take that for the bank. And uh, we actually have a build competition up next. And I'll see you bros there in a second. We're now on a call with ZethDog77. How you doing, dude? Okay. Pretty, pretty okay that's that was not awkward at all dude and okay is good but uh either wow. way, we are actually back with another build competition and today we're doing another animal build competition and um you want to tell the viewers what you're building death dog a monkey a monkey okay dude well it looks like you are going to be i've never seen 
a monkey before. I've seen like King Kong, but uh, I'd really love to see a monkey. Definitely gonna be uh, one to check out. And uh, I'm actually going to be building a panda bear. Only got 16 Well, I'm gonna need to buy like a crap ton more. But either way, this thing is gonna take a bit of a longer time. So I'm actually gonna take a bit of cuts right now and uh, let's actually start off the frame. So I just finished building this thing and um, I actually just totally forgot to film any of this. But we actually went ahead and built all of the outside of the paint. Now if you bros can see it, but there is ears up there. They're just really tiny. And let's actually go ahead and jump on our slime blocks into these stairs up here let's actually just fill this in and uh, up here i actually decided to build a bit of an apartment building these are supposed to be like nightstands for the beds over here and uh, actually added some blue banners because why not i really like to use the banners and uh yes yeah, so we actually have a bit more stuff to do we're just gonna place down some gray carpets right in here and then i think we have some flower pots yeah we're gonna place some flower pots with some azuri bullet i have no clue how to say that but either way let's go ahead and place that in and um i think that is actually it let's actually just go ahead and uh break this right over here i would like to do a bit of like a outside right here so that is actually going to be it let's actually just go ahead and put this down here there's always a lot more things i need to go ahead and do so let's go ahead and do this uh, i'll just buy a bit more of this in the shop and uh there we go but um we're actually going to be doing something a bit different. I'm going to show you guys mine right now. That was a tour of mine. And then we're going to show you death dogs. And um, since um, some of the judges are a bit, like, uneven, like, a lot of people have been saying, like, like they might just be voting for, like, death dog and they might just be voting for me. So we're just going to go ahead and leave it up to the viewers. So leave your, like, leave who you think should win in the comment section down below. And, uh, yeah, so there will be a prize for the winner. And, uh, yeah, so let's actually check out this monkey thing. There's actually, like, a bunch of lava. I'm not sure if you, like, swim up here or something, but, um, it does look pretty insane. I don't think there's a... Oh! There's a place inside I didn't think there was. But, you know, let's go in here and look at this. I actually really love those, uh, things with lava. I've never seen those before. Hopefully this thing doesn't burn down to the crown by next episode. But, uh, I really like the outside and everything. So let's go right up here and, um... Looks like it's like coming out of his nose or something. I think that I think he's just fixing it right now. I think that's a bit of a glitch. But uh, if you actually go on the outside, I forgot to mention one thing. We're at his back. Okay, so uh, this is actually supposed to be a monkey holding a banana in that hand, and that is supposed to be a e token. Like that is not a banana. That is a e token. And, uh, yeah, so we're gonna leave it up to you. Let me know in the comment section down below. And uh, we're actually gonna head off to a short plot review. And I'll see you bros there in a second. Okay, so today for plot review, we're going to be reviewing somebody by the name of Always Trust Me Plot. And, uh, yeah, so I actually really like this plot. You bros know I had to do this one because there's a bunch of pixel arts. And let's actually start with this one because this one, I think, is the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Hopefully, I'm getting this one right. And uh, I really like the bandana on the top. And, um... It looks pretty cool with the cyan and everything. And, uh, yeah, so right over here, they actually have a gas that says, feed me. Well, I guess I guess we could feed it some cyan stained clay. And it looks pretty insane because they actually use banners for this thing. And uh, I thought that was pretty cool because I've never seen this done before. And, uh, yeah, so right over here, you can actually go ahead and get a pretty decent price on um, selling e-tokens and um, selling your uh, prestige tickets. 150 bill. I think the highest I've ever seen is 125 bills, so that is definitely a good idea. And, oh my gosh, I almost thought I just sold mine. But uh, either way, let's actually go right on. Oh, no, let's not go inside. We just totally forgot about this one. And this one right over here, inspired by Riverine123. Go check out the back. So let's go ahead and check this out the back. And to be honest, I really like this dog. I really like the boot clawler and everything. And look at this. This is all oh my... Are you serious? They even added a Dunk Dawn, Diamond Crafter MD, dude. Oh my goodness, but uh, I really like the inside. It really looks insane with the flat screen TV and everything. And uh, yeah, so let's actually go ahead right over here. They actually have an apple and I actually should build a apple on my plot soon because they actually look pretty insane. And I like like the uh, glare on it and everything too. And uh, yeah, so let's actually check out the main part of the house because this is what you bros are probably here for um this part is currently not finished but it still is pretty cool and uh, oh thank you dude for the vines and stuff but uh let's actually go ahead and put that in there and uh really like the entrance in here with the sea lanterns 
and look at this this looks like a bit of a chest area just like potions and beacons and some more awesome stuff like swords and axes but either way let's actually go to the top and uh, i really like like the roof on this thing i really like this plot and uh yeah so let's go to the very top and look at this they got like a surround sound tv over here i like the couch um i would have liked it a bit bigger but um it's still pretty cool with the space you had to work with and uh yeah so this is pretty cool and uh yeah so i think that it actually wraps it up for this plot review and uh yeah so we're actually gonna end it off here we actually have one more after this we're gonna go ahead and give this a rating out of 10 i'm gonna go ahead and give this a rating of 9 because I really like this plot, and this is really good for actually, like, a not done plot, because the inside uh, is not done yet, but other than that, this is a really amazing plot, you guys can come here by the command plot home, always trust me, and, uh, yeah, so we got one more plot for plot review, and I'll see you bros there in a second. Last plot for today is by a person well known on this server, and their IGN is Energy Bank. I really like the outside and everything, it's got some banners over here. I really like the blue and green on this thing, and this thing looks amazing. They got two armor sets in the middle. I would have wished if they were in item frames and enchanted, but they still do look pretty awesome with the lava and everything over here. But let's actually check out the inside of this plot, because this thing... This thing is, like, even better. They've got, like, a purple carpet instead of a red carpet. Right over here, they've got elite sword, elite chest plate. They've got, like, elite everything, which is actually, I think, the top rank or the second top rank on here. So, uh, yeah, they've even got a god chest plate, which is pretty insane. Those things sell for about, like, 300 billion. And, uh, yeah, so let's actually get on to the inside. Right over here, they just have a bit of an enchanting area. And they actually put a lot of work in this, like, look at all of this stuff and uh yeah so let's actually go right in here and um these are actually slime blocks you can actually like jump on these things as like a trampoline this is pretty insane i wish they would have made like the floor a bit higher so we could jump more but still pretty cool right over here looks like they just got some chest grass blocks um some more chest plates and everything and uh yeah so down here they actually have like a fishing rod and uh they have like a more fishing rod looks like they did use the fishing god fishing rod glitch from uh hero wars and uh, yeah so if bros don't know what that is just grab a fishing rod and break a block in the mine and uh looks like they got some more stuff over here wall of hate hyper hacker over here and um i think that's actually it they even got like a mini cactus farm i wish they would have oh do you have afk pool oh i thought they have afk pool but they actually have a pool table in here and i actually really like this one because i've never seen one with like the corners and edges on this one and uh yeah so hope you get some more cactus money and everything dude but uh that's actually going to wrap it up it was a bit of a short one for a small plot but definitely a lot of riches inside this plot and uh yeah looks like they just have a forest and everything out here um this actually ends it off on the ponds and uh yeah so i'm gonna go ahead and give this a rating out of 10 and we're gonna go ahead and rate this plot um i think i'm gonna have to go with an eight because i actually honestly really loved like the bushes and the trees on this plot and i really like the purple carpet and it looks amazing uh dude and uh yeah so if you girls want to be featured on plot review just go put your go to the side of your plot and put your id in the description down below negative 2981 and uh that's actually gonna wrap it up the episode today hope you guys have enjoyed and um sorry it was a bit short today i'm just very busy and hopefully this video even gets out but uh, until tomorrow see you bros next time goodbye peace